Hey y'all, so we're just going to go through the cleaning process after we're done at the end of the day in regards to the P600 DTF Epson Sure Color P600. We're by no means any experts here. Um, so with that said, we're just entrepreneurs kind of just um, figuring it out, if you will. So that said, um, I usually take these out place them in a box. I like to spend at least 10 minutes a day trying to um, make sure that we, if it takes care, if you take care of it, it will take care of you. So after that, we just kind of go through and sop up all the extra stuff that's in there. Make sure that there's no chunks of this ink on top of these little, I don't know what you want to call them, nipples maybe. And now I'll put the inks back in. Give it a nice little shake. That's another thing, every morning before we start the process, we shake all these um, cartridges just to kind of make sure they're ready to go for the day. So with that said, so the next step after I clean these here is I then go ahead and do a um, head clean. So we do a print head cleaning. This is every single night at the end of the day just go through and just do a head clean. I like to keep my side cover off so I can get an access uh, everything inside. I also like to inject a little cleaning solution right on these pads while it's doing the head clean just to kind of get them all cleaned up the print head cleaning we just hit done that's all set and what I'll do now is turn off the printer then from there I turn on the printer and I go in the back where the plug is there turn it on Soon as the head starts to move this way, comes back, I unplug it. That allows the carriage of the head to move. Again, another nice reason to have the side panel off to get to it, in case you need to push it. So now that the head is now moving freely, take a piece of paper towel, fold it up, and put it inside here. I like to tuck it underneath these little bars here. It makes it a little bit easier. Then with the cleaning solution, of your choice and then put a whole bunch on the pad here this is kind of a tough push down and run your head right over that cleaning solution same time put some solution on these capping stations here until they kind of fill up once full next step is just take another paper towel while that's sitting in the solution there 
marinating, if you will. I then go in and sop up the stuff on the pad. Kind of clean it as best as you can. Just kind of fill it up until the overflows cleaning solution. You'll see when it kind of bubbles up. That's it. After I complete this here, I then take the wiper blade and I flip it up. If you can see how disgusting that is, uh, there's a lot of junk on there. I'm going to take some of my cleaning solution. Go in there, clean it. This blade wipes the bottom of the head to clear it, to clean it. And it gets really built up. If you spend 10 minutes a day doing these steps, we have found, in our opinion, that. Um, the P600 works flawlessly pretty much every time. So after you clean that blade, you pop it back into position. Just clean the area. And your wiper blade is now clean. Step, my final step is to wet this a little bit here. I like to keep the capping station a little bit wet, not overflowing like when you clean it. Push the head back. Be careful taking out your paper towel because you don't want any paper towel remnants in there. Just kind of inspect the inside, make sure everything's working okay. Next step is I plug it back in from the back, turn the power on. allow for it to cycle and you're good to go we're newbies here so again we have found for the past few months that this is a good working solution to making sure that the heads don't doesn't clog up and the inks don't clog it up um, our hope is that this might help you this is such new technology um, we've had to try and learn these things on our own and by other fantastic people in, in Facebook groups. So our hope is this will help you. We say good luck and take care.